Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to learn how to find out particular integral for the linear differential equations with constant coefficients by taking various cases on RHS function x. This RHS function x could be an exponential function, could be trigonometric function or could be an algebraic expression in x or it may be combination of all these cases. In this video, I am going to cover how to find out particular integral of the LDE with constant coefficients when RHS function is an exponential function. So let us see how to find it. From my previous video, you must have at least known that the particular integral of differential equation f of dy is equal to x is given by 1 by f of d of x. Then depending on this RHS function x, we will solve 1 by f of d of x as follows. Consider this case when RHS is e raised to ax. Then particular integral yp that is 1 by f of d of e raised to ax can be obtained by simply substituting a for every d in this f of d. Therefore, this yp is now given by 1 by f of a into e raised to ax. Let us understand this with the help of an example. If the differential equation is d square minus 1 into y is equal to e raised to 3x, then the corresponding particular integral yp that is 1 by d square minus 1 into e raised to 3x can be calculated by simply replacing this d by 3. So when we put this 3 in d, we get yp as 1 upon 3 square minus 1 into e raised to 3x. 3 square is 9 minus 1 is 8. So yp is now 1 by 8 e raised to 3x. This technique works perfectly until this f of a is not equal to 0. If f of a is equal to 0, then this technique is useless. In that case, what to do? Let us see. If your f of d is such that it contains one of the factor as d minus a, then after substituting d is equal to a in it, f of a will become 0. Then in that case, to find the corresponding yp, we first eliminate this d minus a from the picture and we replace it by x and we will replace all the d in phi of d by a. Therefore, now corresponding yp is given by x upon phi of a into e raised to ax. Let me show you an example to understand this. Consider this differential equation having two factors of f of d, d minus 2 into d plus 1 y is equal to e raised to 2x. Then corresponding yp given by 1 upon d minus 2 into d plus 1 of e raised to 2x can be obtained by replacing every d in this f of d by 2. But we see that when we put d is equal to 2 in this first factor, it becomes 0. So to obtain yp, we first eliminate this d minus 2 and we put x in the numerator. And then we put d is equal to 2 in the remaining factors. So the corresponding yp's value is x upon 2 plus 1 into e raised to 2x that is x by 3 e raised to 2x. I hope you understood this. Now it may happen that f of d contains d minus a several times in its factorization. Look at this case 1c where f of d has d minus a factor appearing r times in its factorization then particular yp can be obtained by eliminating d minus a raised to r and replacing it by x raised to r upon r factorial. Then finally, replacing every d in phi of d by a, we get value for yp as x raised to r upon r factorial into 1 upon phi of a e raised to ax. Let us understand this with the help of an example. If your differential equation is d minus 2 whole cube into d plus 1 y is equal to e raised to 2x then corresponding yp is given by 1 upon d minus 2 whole cube into d plus 1 of e raised to 2x. 
Now to obtain the value of yp, if we substitute this 2 for every d in this f of d, we see that this d minus 2 is getting 0. And this d minus 2 is appearing 3 times. So first of all, we eliminate this d minus 2 the whole cube and we replace it by x cube by 3 factorial. And finally, substituting d is equal to 2 in this phi of d, we get our answer as x cube by 3 factorial into 1 upon 2 plus 1 into e raised to 2x. 3 factorial is 6, 2 plus 1 is 3 and 6 3 is 18. So the final answer for yp is x cube upon 18 into e raised to 2x. This completes all the cases on f of d. Now let us put all these results in a chart. So here you can clearly see that value of 1 upon f of d of e raised to ax can be obtained by simply replacing every d in f by a. So the value is 1 by f of a e raised to ax until f of a is not equal to 0. But if f of d contains a factor d minus a then f of a will become 0 then in that case we have to eliminate that factor and replace it by x then the corresponding value of 1 upon f of d e raised to ax is x upon phi of a e raised to ax. Similarly, if this factor d minus a appears r times in the factorization of f of d, then in that case we eliminate d minus a raised to r and replace it by x raised to r upon r factorial. Then the value of 1 upon f of d e raised to ax is x raised to r upon r factorial into 1 by phi of a into e raised to ax. Now let us see some real examples. Here the question is to find the particular integral of d cube minus 3d plus 4 into y is equal to e raised to 3x. Then the corresponding particular integral is given by 1 upon f of d of e raised to 3x. Here f of d is d cube minus 3d plus 4. Now to solve this we put d is equal to 3 in this f of d to get 1 upon 3 cube minus 3 into 3 plus 4. 3 cube is 27 minus 3 3 is a 9 is 18 plus 4 is 22. So after simplifying we get particular integral to the given differential equation as 1 by 22 into e raised to 3x. I hope you understood these steps. Now let us see another example. Once again we are asked to find the particular integral of d square minus 2d plus 1 into y is equal to e raised to x plus 1. So corresponding yp is given by 1 upon f of d of x. Here x is e raised to x plus 1. Let's factorize this. This can be written as d minus 1 the whole square. Now we operate this 1 upon d minus 1 the whole square on every term in this bracket like this. This 1 can be written as an exponential term e raised to 0x. Now to solve this we have to replace every d in this f of d by a. Here a is 1. But if we put 1 here in d this will become 0. So to solve this, we will eliminate d minus 1 the whole square and we replace it by x square by 2 factorial. As this factor is appearing 2 times, we have to put x square in the numerator and 2 factorial in the denominator. So the final value is x square upon 2 factorial into e raised to x for this first term. Now to solve this second term, we have to put d is equal to 0 here as we have term e raised to 0 x over here. So here a is 0. So if we put d is equal to 0 here we get minus 1 the whole square that is just 1. So the value of pi is x square upon 2 factorial that is just 2 into e raised to x plus 1. I hope you understood every step of this example. Now I have two DIY examples for you. Their corresponding final answers are given. 
you can tell your answers over here please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not thank you all of you thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos